wrong with it? Could you check the magazine? Ah, let's have a look at it. Hmm. Well, maybe the release is stuck. I'll replace it. Won't take a minute. Just hold on. Okay, fellas. The tip paid off. I got him. Come on in. Roger. Hey, Doug, your buddy Forrest doesn't answer from Tampa. You want me to keep on trying? I'll try him later. By the way, is this your first flight? Yes, it is. A helicopter is like a woman. Beautiful woman. It's very delicate. Delicate. You like music? Well, imagine you're dancing a waltz. Again. Has he landed? One moment, please. Hi. Good. Come on. This is Steve Forrest answering service. I am out right now. So please leave me your name, number, and message after the beep. Very funny, Steve. Yeah, my favorite place. Listen, Joe Garrett got out of jail yesterday. Why are you calling me? It's the only case we never solved in our whole career. It's your career, Blue Eyes. I resigned two years ago. They're not getting me back until they give me permission again to use my fists on bad guys. I got no time for Boy Scouts. Um, listen, about Garrett. After he left jail, he got in touch with someone in Miami. He's on his way down there this very minute. Yeah? I got news for you. Ten of my students are having tests in the air next week. And you're trying to tell me about an old robbery? Robbery? The robbery. Twenty million bucks, Steve. Even if it was two hundred million. My students' tests still come. Come on, Steve. Garrett's on flight 
Eastern 181. You land in 45 minutes. That'll give you enough time to get there in trailer. I thought it was... Well, you saw it? Wrong. Over and out. two days ago. Garrett, doesn't name mean anything to you? Afraid not, Captain. Didn't think it would, Lion. Joe Garrett was convicted of robbing the Detroit First National Bank of $20 million. He was arrested immediately by two real cops, friends of mine. He served nine years, and he never snitched on his accomplices. wonder what brings him to Miami in such a hurry. Sooner or later, everybody comes to Miami. The sun's always shining. Right, Lion. The sun's always shining. One for the hospital, one for the morgue. 
Commissioner Reisner just won't get off my case. Uh -huh. we, the minute we heard Garrett was in town, we tried to pick him up, but we missed him. Result, Garrett's dead. Uh, I heard. You know, we at the Bureau are taking an interest in the case. Why don't you let me handle this thing? I can't let Reisner force me into retirement. And you know things haven't been going so well at the station with me lately, and Gary, Reasoner likes to remind me of that. Whitey, as far as I'm concerned, you're welcome to work on the case, as long as you don't get in the way of my boys. I want the Bureau to work on it, but with the agents of my choice. Well, who'd you have in mind? Doug Bennett and Steve Forrest. I don't know the names. They're with your New York office. Last agents. Long time ago, when I was up north, they were on the police force with me. Big Zach, they were the ones that caught Garrett. What do you want me to do? Lend me Bennett and Forrest. They can pass the city cops. Undercover. Can do. I'll, uh, I'll call the New York office today. And they killed Garrett. Right. Which leads us to believe that his accomplice in $20 million is somewhere in the Miami area. Your assignment is to...